Hello everyone. In this video we will be adding colliders at the top and the bottom and we will be working on the physics of the ball. So let's jump right into it. Alright, so right now we have a paddle A and a paddle B. If you run the game, Both can move up and down, but there's a problem. Battle can go outside the screen, and we won't want that. We want the battle to stay in the screen, so it should stop somewhere around here. So we don't need to type any code for this. There's a simple fix. So I want you to create a empty. Name it top. Now Unity has something named colliders. So if I add a box collider and if I do this, so if I just move the top up here and then I can do this. And if you click here hold alt, then it will do it from both these sides. And so I can do this. I can move it. Alright, that looks right. I copy the top and paste it right there. Name it bottom. And move it down. And because now we have colliders here. The battles are going to be colliding here, so they can't go up. But before they collide here, we need colliders for battles as well. So add in box colliders for battles. Box collider for battle. Let's zoom in so you can see it. Okay, that looks like. And then box collider for battle B. This looks right as well. So now if you run the game. So the battle is now going to collide here. So you can see it cannot go about this. Same with the other collider. Alright, so now that we have fixed that, let's start creating a ball. So I have a quick challenge for you. Create a 2D sprite square in the hierarchy and set the scale x to 0.5 and scale y to 0.5 have a go at that and then we'll continue okay so go to 2d objects sprites square name it ball and then set its scale to 0 0.5 by 0 0.5 now we want our ball to collide and bounce here and there. So for which we need a collider for ball as well. Let's add a collider. The collider looks perfect. And before we start adding physics, let's create a bounce material. This is going to help the ball to bounce here and there. So basically, go into duty. Sprites physics material to the yeah. name it ball now set the friction to zero and set the bounciness to one and what that is going to do is whenever the ball is going to move it's going to bounce here and there so basically this material is going to bounce the ball so if you go into the ball you can add this you can drag this in the materials tab to do that so now this box collider 
has this bounce material so it's going to bounce here and there okay now that's done we can start creating the script for the ball create a c sharp script name it ball underscore controller and then select the ball you can simply drag the script on it okay for some reason I'm unable to drag a script and component Script okay. okay, so now it's added. So you can double click and open it up. Okay, so now that the script's open, the code is going to be pretty simple. We want the ball to move diagonal. So we want the ball to move only once at the start diagonally, and once that's done, it's going to bounce here and there. So the physics matrix is going to take, take care of everything else. So to move it diagonally, we first of all need the rigid body. Let's type in public rigid body duty and we'll name it rb that's good and now we want to do rb dot velocity remember this is what we use for moment that's what we are going to be using again but without any keys so it's going to move automatically you don't need to press any key, right? So, velocity is equal to new vector 2. So, it should be, let's say, 3f and 3f. So, 3f on the x-axis and 3f on the y-axis. Now, what is it, f? f is an extension for fluid. So, Whenever you type a f after a integer, then it's going to think that it's f. So let's save that. Control S. And okay, let's see. Okay, so you need to add a semicolon. If we get that, then the whole code is crapped out. So do add a semicolon. Control S. Come back into Unity. Should not give any errors, I guess. We'll see. Okay, no errors. So if I now run the game, ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we haven't assigned the rigid body. Wow. And the ball doesn't have a rigid body. So let's add a rigid body 2D. We want this to be continuous, so it continuously checks. We can do this for all the battles and all that stuff. Gravity scale zero. And okay, that looks good. And let's Assign this here, and now if we play the game, the ball should move technically. Let's see what happens. Okay, yes, the ball moves. Mm -hmm.
Okay, now I think I have already said that, but basically, in the rigid body, you want to freeze the ball's z axis. Okay, so you want to freeze the ball's z axis and you want to freeze the parallel z axis too, which I have already done. And this should be a huge number. So if the mass is a huge number, the ball is the paddle is not going to move in the x axis due to the ball. So make this the max number you can. And yeah, so if you hit play, do you see? Now you can play the game. Yay! So you can play the game. The ball bounces. Speed's not much. You can increase the speed. So remember where we type 3f and 3f? 3f for x and 3f for y. You can change those. Okay. So now we have a problem. The ball goes out of the screen, which is good. But when it goes out of the screen, it should update the score and it should teleport back to the center and start moving again, right? So yeah, that's what we will be tackling for in tackling in the next video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you don't miss out on daily updates. And yeah, drop a like on this video. And I also want to ask you to share this video with all of your friends who are interested in this kind of stuff. And yeah, I also wanted to ask you to comment down below what do you think about these videos? So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.